Hi, I'm Karthik. Welcome back to my MapTech channel. In this video, I'm going to share you an interesting way to create chatbots uh, or like how you can engage with the customers automatically uh, through an app called Zappy Chat. There are like uh, there are like multiple requirements coming up from different uh, customers like they want to have a bot uh, to automate engaging with the customers and uh, automatically book appointments for them in their calendar. There are multiple ways to achieve it. One is like you can use your the go high level uh, own workflows to interact with chat GPT and uh, and create a workflow to create any any kind of bots to reply to any channels like say when I say like conversation channels it means like we, it can be a Facebook messenger or like Instagram SMS WhatsApp email anything it may be in similar way there are multiple ways to achieve it also one is as i said earlier one is like uh, through the ghl workflows and other one is like you can have your own code so that uh, you can save cost you don't have to give the uh, price for premium actions uh, of, uh, for go high level workflows you can directly interact with go high level uh, chat gpt and get the customer responses relay back the uh, relay back from chat gpt to the customer say we have developed a bot this is this is a chat widget bot this can allow this can uh, interact with the customers if it can be embedded in any website or like any funnel it can work with um, uh, it can uh, directly get uh, responses uh, from the uh, chat gpt and and it can automatically book appointments also the this one way and the third way would be like we when you do when you want to have a app like zappy chat or close but which are like very uh, recently uh, getting popular in the uh, in the sarana you can uh, make uh, install this uh, bots and they uh, and you have to pay the price for them and they uh, provide you all the custom fields workflows custom values everything and then you can train the bot to your requirement for different sub accounts and that will uh, work as a uh, that bot will take care of the bar appointments so these are three ways and uh, and let's get into how i am I, I set up uh, zappy chat for a customer one uh, just because you buy uh, buy any subscription from zappy chat it doesn't mean like you can effectively use it you take care of uh, uh, like you have to be super techie or like you hire a techie or a while service from us to ensure that whatever your goal is achieved say uh, this would be the zappy chat platform and uh, this would be for bots and integrations integrations is just like you just click the connect button and once uh, once you click the connect uh, uh, once you click the connect you, you will be show you will be shown a list of uh, uh, f uh, fields we have to fill basically you have to copy and uh, paste your agency key if at all you wish to set up uh, zappy chat at the agency level zappy chat at the agency level means you can like uh, uh, re um, you can ma you can mark up your service cost like uh, we are offering a bot for all the all our uh, sub account owners so uh, there will be uh, extra additional charge for that in that way you can do and then you can train the bot for each and every location separately and this would be for uh, chat uh, chat gpt integration you have to create you have to uh, have a open ap open a ap subscription and they, and this would be applicable for click funnel also once that is done you can go to bots and you can create bots uh, any any kind of bots you wish there are like multiple bots one is like live which uh, live chat bot or like uh, uh, qualification bot or like booking bot or like uh, assistant bot say i am going to uh, okay, booking bot and uh, let's may you keep this as test bot and uh, you can have a small description that is uh, that is for your info only and uh, and once that is done you can you can configure the prompt type custom field these are all like okay you can ignore that and uh, only thing is needed is you have to provide the chat gpt key with this like you can provide your own chat gpt key so that it can train accordingly and then you can click add once that is added that is uh, you are good to go once uh, the bot is created you I, I i'm just canceling it because i have already created a booking bot once that is done you you all you have to do is you just copy this uh uh, uh webhook link and keep it uh, keep it in your notepad 
now the configuration with uh, as happy chat is over and uh, next coming and uh, next we have what we have to do is you have to go and uh, train that bot right so you just go to location in your figures and you see for which sub code you you can you have to train the bot once you provided the agency api key at the integrations then it will list all the sub codes here if it's not listing you can just refresh the bot this uh, this interface allows you to enable uh, zappy chat bot or disable for some specific sub accounts or locations whatever you wish to call and then you can say if at all i want to configure for this one you can just go to yeah enable it by just clicking on this and then once you that is done you can just click faqs and in the FAQ section, you can you can uh, import uh, the FAQs in a in a CSV format. Like you can have a frequently asked queries listed uh, queries in uh, in the file in the row A and answers in the B row and save it as a CSV and import it here. That's it. You can just import it here. I will show. It should have a uh, header, and then you can drag and drop the CSV. That's it and once that is done amendments say this way you can just open the csv and you can delete the existing faqs whatever it may be already have been added and then if it's if you want to delete you can delete if at all you don't want you can delete just like the import that's it the faqs will be listed here and uh, once that is done and once that is done you are good to are you sure yeah it's reconfirming it you uh, I, uh, then you once you confirm it it will take a few minutes of time and it will import and it will show just uh, ignore this and uh, then it will show the kind of faqs it has added allow it to allow uh, allow it sometimes so that it can uh, list all the queries here also and if at all you don't have any csv sheet you can just click scrap url and you can type the url https www.bing.com select type add and you can sorry and just submit it will train for that also and once that is done it will show all the FAQs here and you can see the uh, what are the queries yeah see it is as uh, it says like the uh, it's success and if it's uploading the FAQs and you can check after some time if at all you don't want anything you can just clear, click clear FAQs and uh, you um, and another bug here is it will not always show just a testing bot but what you can do is once you just click on it and you want to you can link uh, you can link any specific bot you have created earlier and uh, now i'm going to click the uh, booking bot and uh, it's it's showing the booking bot here now what i what i'll do i will show the bug because even if you refresh it will show the testing bot again but don't get confused because of that you know you go, when you click on that particular uh, uh, actions you can see that is a booking bot only see for this one it still shows testing bot but when i click it it will show booking bot that's it and uh, here you can see if the faqs are uh, ready so it's it sees it shows all the faqs here say if at all you don't want any particular faq you can just delete it here in this way you can manage all your how you, your bot has to respond and you can also edit the queries and the uh, uh, let's remove this you can edit and uh, just click update also this way you can uh, train that bot as per your requirement and now the bot is set and uh, you can export and import the FAQs as i said earlier so the configurations at uh, go uh, zappy chat is completely done now uh, the yeah, yeah, when you buy the subscription for zappy chat they will give you, you a snapshot link this i am going completely detailing about the how to install the booking for bot for the zappy chat there are other bots like qualify bot but the process would be of same level and all you have to do is you just click uh, have a go to this member section and find a mm, snapshot link here and uh, i have already have the snapshot link for the purpose of demo and i'm just have to just uh, paste and go 
this snapshot link and you can import it and then you, when you create an uh, create the sub account you use this snapshot to create the sub account if it's already present all you have to do is you just load that snapshot uh, there uh, yeah just import uh, just click yes import now that's it once you uh, once you are done with that i have already have a separate video on how to manage snapshots how to import and how to load for existing accounts and how to use it for other new accounts you can see it in the imported snapshots that would be available it's already imported so in this way you can easily uh, get that snapshot done and then once the snapshot is ready when you create a, a sub account it will automatically ask prompt for any particular snapshot you can use this uh, snapshot and now let's go to this uh, once the sn snapshot is installed all you have to do is you have to go to the agency settings ah yeah settings and now you have to in the company custom javascript you have to copy and uh, uh, the problem with this app chat is many times i have to disable my uh, antivirus because it shows uh, antivirus alert every now and then and there seems to be some malware or like bug with the zap chat but ignore this for now uh, i hope that zap chat developers will take note of this and once that is done you have to just copy this custom javascript code and uh, place it in your company settings in the js here custom javascript js here here you have to uh, have that javascript code and once that is done uh, once that is done you are good to go and uh, one only main thing is like you have to go to uh, uh, uh copying from the member section you can just come to account and you can see a javascript for all agency settings you can just copy this uh, code and paste it here only thing is like the agency code will be different for different companies and you just play uh, place the javascript code for that and that is done and once that is done java zappy chat would be enabled within your uh, uh, within the desired particular sub account and you can see these are all the custom values which has generated and you have to uh, for this custom value you have to edit robot webbook you have to edit the custom value the you have to figure you have to feed the right bot link which you have generated if you want to use booking bot you have to copy this if at all you want to qualify you have to use this and copy and paste that uh, web book here and you can configure the open a prompt like how you want to engage first and uh, and how the bot should act like like uh, what is role and what kind of language it should use and what is the intro message calendar id you can just go to calendars and uh, and click on that particular calendar and get the scheduling link and from the scheduling link you can easily get the calendar id and just copy and place that calendar id zappy chat bookings share permanent link and from the permanent link you can use just paste it here and just use that last uh, alphanumeric uh, here uh, and copy and paste it in the custom value this will enable you to um, have a separate folder for that custom value and just paste it here here edit and paste it here once that is done the calendar value is set and now we have set the mm, web uh, configurations at the go high level ready also and uh, other thing is other good thing is like once you install the javascript it will show have the uh, training option here also so you can just click on it and you have whatever the accounts are whatever the faqs are trained before and you can edit and you can add when uh, responding to your customer also and they and that is uh, completely done you can see these are all the custom values and custom fields uh, generated during uh, when we install the zappy chat snapshot and also you can see there are uh, there are few automations uh, specific automations available Yes, which is built uh, the build the automations are different for different uh, uh, requirements like for qualification they have a, a set of automation and for a book, booking bot there are set of automations and this all has to be published so that the bot can work the bot won't work if the user has a tag of no alert
alert user and uh, and the custom field is of uh, bot status is no uh, no bot so you you ensure that i will uh, show you like where exactly you have to find see this is how the bot will work whenever the customer asks for query and uh, the bot can work uh, directly from the workflows and it will interact with the chat gpt and uh, respond to the customers um, so this way the bot can engage with the customer and books an appointment in in your calendar and uh, uh, and it can yeah, and it can qualify the customer also depending on the uh, depending on your requirement or depending on the bot set it it will uh, qualify the customer and uh, ensure that this uh, the uh, this customer doesn't have the uh, uh, tag of uh, alert user because once the alert user is live the bot will stop responding to the customer alert user is done and the alert user is set just to ensure that uh, the just to ensure that the already booked customer should not be uh, engaged with the bot again and the other one is like if the if the bot behaves erratically or the, if the customer fails to respond for a long time or like some issue happens the bot already say, uh, allows to set it to alert user and this way mm, it protects the uh, it protects the bot to send erratic messages uh, in future with the customer this boy if the if you don't want some bot to some for uh, the bot should not engage with any customer you can just set this custom field to no bot once that is done the bot won't engage with the customer i hope this video is clear if case in case if you have any queries or like any assistance in setting up such bots either through go high level or like uh, on our own service through like coding or like zappy chat or close bot please book a um, book a uh, calendar uh, appointment with us and i will be happy to set you up for you and uh, ensure that you get a good number of bookings in your calendar thanks for watching please consider subscribing bye